press the button. Uh, well, everyone, this is a game, an old game that, uh, honestly, I need to play. So we're going to see what Seth says about it for once. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. Tonight, I'll be covering one of my favorite RPGs, a oh, cult classic that brings you back no matter how many times you finished it. Do you love oh. shopping at Hot Topic? <laughs> Do you hate natural sunlight? Have you ever wanted to suck off a homeless? If you answer <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> What? That one broke. No, why? <laughs> why would you want to suck off a homeless? He Is means, that why? He means it's a vampire, but. <laughs> Any of those? Then I know exactly oh, the game for you. No. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, released oh. in 2004 by Troika Games. Bloodlines okay. takes place in modern day LA, but oh. our story begins in the Old it. Testament. So to under I know a bit about World of Darkness, which uh, Vampire the Masquerade takes place in the World of Darkness stuff, where there's vampires, werewolves, ghosts, all that kind of stuff. There's actually. Goats. There's actually different uh, uh, core books for each one. There's Vampire the Masquerade, uh, War Werewolf the Apocalypse, Geist the Something, I don't remember. There's also one for a mummy, a ghost, and something else I can't remember. Huh. But yeah. There oh yeah, there's Hunter the Gathering, which is, uh, you know, you play as a human... There's also one where you play as a mage, where things can get crazy. Understand the lore? I'll need you all to whip out your Bibles and flip to Genesis 4. Okay, everyone Remember whip out Cain your and Abel? In the Bible, the two brothers made offerings to God. Abel offered the Lord some lamb chops. What? Cain gave him some weed. I guess he needed to censor whatever that was. Mixer some shit. Naturally, God liked Abel's offer a lot more. So Cain disabled his brother by- Yeah, this was the first murder in uh, biblical teaching where Cain murdered his brother Abel. Murdering him with a fucking rock. God was very unhappy with Cain for killing his brother. Nah, God doesn't give a shit. Cain's crime was murdering his brother and then having the audacity to lie to God. In the Bible, God yeah. punishes Cain to wander the earth in vampire. But yeah, he basically says he's angry that he gave him a chance to tell him about it. But instead, Cain chose to lie. The masquerade, God punishes Cain by giving him superpowers. <laughs> Cain, for crimes against your creator and your fellow man, I sentence you to immortality. I'm also giving you super speed <laughs> and super strength. You can also turn invisible. Uh, w would you like to polymorph as well? Sometimes I like to turn into a burning bush and scare the shit out of Moses. What anyway, God turns Cain into the first vampire. The only downside? He can't walk in the light and he has to drink the blood of others to survive. God's true punishment is <laughs> giving Cain the ability to sire children. But with immortality, Mortality, the only thing left to fear is death itself. That oh. fear becomes paranoia, jealousy, hatred. Not for humans, but for your own kind. Oh. And that fear ends up consuming you. Just oh. as Cain murdered his brother, he is now forced to watch for all eternity as generations of his own children murder each other. That's a hell of a long con. And very poetic. Where do you come into all of this? You're a random schmuck who gets embraced against your will in a seedy LA hotel. When well you wake up, you're a vampire. But before you get comfortable, the Camarilla boys break in, stake for both of you, and ship you off. By the way, I did know something. Staking uh, vampires in the heart doesn't actually kill them in this world. It just basically means you can't move. That's Was actually what? It doesn't kill them. It basically me makes you unable to move whatsoever. Uh, basically, you become a lip noodle. You can't do anything, but you can still see and hear everything. It's kind of terrifying. To vampire court. Turns out, siren vampires without... Vampire. But yeah, you're not allowed to... Permission is a big no-no. Yeah, from what I know, you're not allowed to sire someone without the permission of the Camarilla. And a violation of a masquerade, which is, basically, a loose set of rules to keep mortals from finding out about the supernatural, and from realizing yeah. that Vladimir Tepes was, in fact, a high-level Tsimisi who turned Romanians into dining chairs. Oh, because if humans ever found out, that's a guaranteed death sentence for every vampire on Earth. The judges make their verdict. Your sire gets decapitated by Magilla Gorilla. Magilla. 
African Gorilla. muscle man behind Sebastian LaCroix, Camarilla Prince of LA. And you're next on the chopping block. Oh well, at least you got laid. <laughs> However, Nines Rodriguez, leader of the LA Anarchs, protests against your immediate execution. Suddenly struck with a flood of emotion uh, and newfound empathy, LaCroix... I want to tell you something about this, that in the world of darkness, the... Camarilla and a bunch of, like, the vampire organizations. It's a bunch of politicking BS. So they'll only help you if it helps them in the long run. Or in the short run. That's dumb. They're dumb. Oh, well, yeah. They're vampires. They decides to spare you your life. Instead, he sends you off on a suicide mission to get killed somewhere else. Clueless yeah. and alone, you're thrown into this game as an unwilling pawn in a world of darkness. What? Oh, oh man. And you're a goddamn Malkavian, too. Wow. Oh. You really are fucked. <laughs> but as with any chess game, if you underestimate the pawn, you've already lost. Survive, True. understand, and identify the other pieces on your board. Once you do, you'll have to make a choice between being a player and being a pawn. And I should mm. warn you, a pawn is always sacrificed to protect the king. Before True. you start, you have to pick your clan. There are seven to choose from. They're generally very interesting and offer unique approaches what? to... It's Gronch the Paunch. No, it's not Grom the Paunch. The game. Bruja and Gangrels are hobos and furries respect- Fable, I didn't know you were in this game. I refuse to be in this game. Effectively, <laughs> they're very hot-tempered and have poor impulse control. Tremere can do this. Oh. Well then. Well then. They're basically undead blood mages. Toreador oh. are the very definition of vampire sluts. Being a room oh. temperature piece of ass does have its advantages though. Well unless then. you get what you want without conflict. Then true are like vampire aristocracy. Basically, they're assholes who oh. think they're too good for sucking off a homeless. Oh. <laughs> Don't say that to their face, though, or you might find your neck snapped. Nosferatu are oh. hideously deformed. Women ignore you or call the police when they see your face. Oh. Yeah, yeah, what a little bit. Lord! Oh, sweet Jesus! I think he just killed that lady with his looks. Well then. Be sneaking up on a brother with your crackhead skin disease <laughs> test tube, baby. Look at that. Damn near shit my pants. I don't sell no soap, so what the hell you want? I love that line. <laughs> Fable, you're still there. I'm still here. I'm confused, but I'm uh, here. Well, because you looked at a, uh, as I said, the nose raw to our hairly ugly, so we literally call him a, a <laughs> test tube, baby skin disease. Skin disease crackhead looking. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, really, uh, no different from being alive. Malkavians are batshit insane. Their curse oh. makes them unhinged, unstable, and even worse, completely lucid oh. and prophetic. Like I think I once saw someone play that, and the, the voice options, you know, like it's uh, Fallout style. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. Like, they say shit like, well, the blood true of the night. Ken is still on the go to a normal person. Imagine saying that to a normal person. And the dude's like, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. You can also yeah. spread this insanity to others. As a result, they've got some of the best interactions and dialogue options in the entire game. Say, the goddess was our slight dismiss. Please forgive her. I only relay the goss's message. Do not maul me, mighty grizzly. <laughs> no, you are thicker than the forest in that you live in, grizzly. <laughs> you must be hungry, grizzly. Be look, your friends are salmon. Are salmon. Oh. Which may or may not include talking to stop signs and being interrogated by your own television. What? And that the source of the detonation possibly came from you. Hey. Heard anything? 
What's it like? Kind of musky. <laughs> it's no small secret that Clan Malkavian is my favorite. If it's your first time playing Bloodlines, I recommend playing any clan which isn't Malkavian or Nosferatu. Why? Because the Madness Network isn't random. It's foreshadowing. It's knowledge you know but shouldn't. And all these revelations will go over your head when you can't make sense of it. Also, getting spotted out in the open is an instant masquerade violation for Nosferatus, which uh. can result in your immediate death. It's better for season and players who already know who and where everyone and everything is. Also, I hope you like sewers, because you're gonna be seeing a lot of sewers as a Nosferatu. Hope you pack snacks, but why would I play this old ass game a second time, Seth? Mm. I got a lot of stuff to do. I got a reading to catch up on. Because, Adogen. you goddamn Zoomer, the game isn't very long. Length isn't the point of it. It's okay. the choices you make, and there's a lot of different choices you can take depending on your character, which come back to help or haunt you in the future. Future. It's a very well contained and believable world that never breaks your suspension of disbelief. You might be turned off by the vampires, <laughs> and to tell the truth, I was too. So was my mom, and now she's probably finished Is the game more times than me. Because this game isn't yeah. about vampires, okay. the undead, or the supernatural. It's about humans, and regardless of whether they're mortal or damned flesh, they do? all act, think, and feel human. Hmm? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, damn. Oh, no. For hours. Oh, never mind. That's a restart button. Or. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's better. Back to the thing you do. They've got real fears, hopes, and motivations which drive their character. Every single character, no matter how central or insignificant they are to the plot, are written fantastically well. Oh. And that's the main praise you hear for this game. The story oh. and the dialogue, which has some goddamn amazing voice acting. I am the proprietor and salesman oh. of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh god, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T, because I know I got a weight problem, I just just don't give a fuck. Well, I can respect that. <laughs> oh. No one else is speaking. I must go forward or something I bad will happen. I see your face is yeah, not so good. lifeless. That's Steve Bloom. I'm pretty sure that's Steve Bloom. Your nerves not so deadened that you cannot express yes, shock. Sound like him. Do you guys think it's Steve Bloom? Tell me, child, so. is my Sounds appearance like that frightening? It looks like a dinosaur is it my man. Knowledge of you that is so unnerving. Hey, welcome to Sang's Herbal Remedies. I am Sang. How may I assist you? Uh. Selling remedies is honest work. I came to America after discharge from Chinese um, oh. uh, Herbal Remedies forces to help aging parents with store. Definitely, I am now American citizen. God bless the allegiance flag. Chinese oh. invented gunpowder. Yes, I know guns. Hold on, please. Oh. These are good remedies for many problems. No credit cards. Oh, so he has a lot of guns to sell you. Kids. Kids don't know nothing. No more Yankee, my wanky. The finger need food. What? Through most of the game, you're given tasks to complete by LaCroix. These serve as the main quest line, and you'll need okay. to finish them to progress the story and unlock new locations. You'll get to meet the other major powers in LA as well. There's okay. the Camarilla, which uphold the status quo and enforce the masquerade religiously. Anarchs, who respect the masquerade but hate the politics and hierarchy of a Camarilla. The okay. Sabbat, who don't give a shit about the masquerade and seek dominion over mankind. And finally, there's the Kuei Jin, Asian oh. Vampires that have recently moved into Chinatown. And I don't know if the Quajin are a thing anymore in the lore. I honestly don't. And filled it with gacha machines. They use the negative chi formed by gambling, organized crime, and gacha balls to fuel their aggressive business practices. Besides the main story, there's dozens of side missions to complete. None of these are your standard fetch quests either. They force you to think and decide for yourself how to mm -hmm. best approach them. Completing missions is important. Oh. What the hell Since were that's those your only way of wolves? getting the experience points necessary for upgrading your character. Most of them can be resolved peacefully by talking or stalking. Some of them, oh. however, cannot. And whether it's from other vampires or the same dude in a wife beater <coughs> copy-pasted 200 times, violence is inevitable. So building your character to be a smooth-talking, anemic slug might not be the best idea. There's a lot of nightclubs in this death. game, by the way. They're a good place to feed. They've also got some pretty good music. You can also... Oh. Well, I know final death is when you uh, basically turn to ash. Basically, your body apparent. I 
think it, or is, is Final Death where you die and basically go, your body looks like how old you're supposed to be? And I'm not sure. Even outside, there's some very nice ambience to fit the mood. It makes you feel like you're actually there. This game taught me that Santa Monica is a shithole, so don't feel bad about the people you kill there. In a way, you're saving them from the pain of living in Santa Monica. Bloodlines controls quite simply. You play it in first person while interacting with objects and NPCs, and you pan out to third person oh whenever God. you're in combat. Yeah, combat so can be enjoyable, so but mostly it is. Mm. Everything okay, Chrono? Yeah, I just ordered some uh, sore throat medicine for me. Oh, I do <laughs> hope it gets better for you, buddy. Is not enjoyable. Combat boils down yeah. to mashing left click I while desperately it. scrolling with your mouse wheel and smashing right too. click to reactivate blood <laughs> buff. Oh yeah, every clan's got vampire superpowers or well, disciplines unique it. to their bloodline. Yeah. I, Many of these cost a lot of blood to use, things. but they're visually impressive, they can end fights mm -hmm. instantly, and they break the monotony of endless button mashing while Excuse hoping and that. praying that your it's enemy's fine. life bar is smaller than your own. You oh. could use guns instead, but unless you've invested skill points into... I mean, that's, how else will you take down a vampire with a double barrel shot? Firearms, you might be dead by the time you take a shot. I Outside of combat, you'll be... just now. I did not hear what you said, but I heard something. People uh, over on YouTube, okay. tell me what he okay. said. Okay. I I just hacked a loogie from my mic. Oh, oh. I thought Ooh. I had it muted. Yeah. Doing everything from investigating <laughs> serial. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I just hope your mic Murders is okay. Murders to evicting unfriendly spirits out of no, hotels. No, the Ocean like, House Hotel is there to remind it, you that just mind. because you're oh, a squeaky oh, bloodsucker doesn't right. mean you're not capable of terror. The oh. Ocean House is so infamous that it's got its oh, own... Right, what? Real murders to evicting unfriendly spirits out of hotels. The oh. Ocean House Hotel is there to remind you that just because you're a spooky bloodsucker doesn't mean you're not capable of terror. The Ocean oh. House is so infamous that it's got its own console oh. command to skip the entire she, sequence. It's probably one of the. Mm. I thought you were talking to Mac there. Mm. No. <laughs> the best horror segments I've ever seen seen in the game and they managed Where to do it without brother? a single uh, yeah. a jump scare just a feeling of pure condensed dread Ooh. your inventory is conveniently infinite so That's you never nice. have to worry about space you'll pick up useful items like blood bags and firepower and less useful items like birth control and estrogen pills what? this game's difficult and there's a few frustrating points in the story yeah, that that's might make creature. you quit point why number did he, one why did he pronounce it like that i don't know i, I have no idea why he did All right. Hollywood sewers. At some point oh. in the story, you have to find the Nosferatu, as they've gone into hiding for reasons unknown. This okay. has nothing to do with a free billion Samisi flesh puppets clogging up every sewer drain. And you're gonna have to fight them all, including this big bitch who throws spare ribs at you. Also, what there's the no fuck? blood down in the sewers. So, I hope you brought an Mac, entire fridge supply monster. of blood. I'm gonna name it after you when it throws ribs at people. Why? Yo, well. <laughs> No! No, Rib Monster. Yo, no. Blood with you. Good luck. Luckily, the unofficial patch fixes this completely. The good old games copy comes with a patch pre-installed, so you can take a convenient shortcut and save yourself the pain of going through this programmed hell. Point number okay. two, Werewolf Park. In this oh, universe- Oh, there was a fire right there. I saw that. Werewolves are incredibly rare. Oh, uh, werewolves, uh... Funny enough, I do know that they have three forms. Their human form, their wolf form, and their war form. The war form is the bipedal form, if you didn't know. The bipedal. Well, I say bipedal. Anyway. Yeah. But they're also invincible killing oh! machines. In fact, you can't fight this puppy at all. It's immune to damage and can stun lock you to death in several swipes. This all happens in a span of five seconds, so most players never even get the chance to understand Dear what God. the fuck is going on before they meet their final death. Again, again, and again. Even though it kills you in five seconds, you're expected to survive for about five minutes. How? Oh, and forget about regenerating your health. Werewolf claws burn through your flesh, so it can't 
can't be healed back. However, after years of dying to that same werewolf, I found mm -hmm. out you can actually kill it. What the hell? How is I supposed to know that you're actually meant to run into the observatory, flick the circuit breaker outside, run back in, open the dome, lure it into the dome, and crush it to death? How the hell was I supposed yeah, to know that? I the answer you. is, I didn't. I had to look it up on the wiki. What After the hell? years of suffering through the same mission each playthrough, this is oddly satisfying. However, if you can endure past those rough patches in the story, you'll start piecing together what's going on. The concern and focus of every major faction in LA is in one way or another centered on the arrival of a certain archaeological treasure, the Ankaran sarcophagus, which oh. throughout the game has a bad habit of getting stolen. What's inside? Who knows? An old Assyrian king or a slumbering antediluvian, one oh. of the oldest granddaddy vampires? In the world of darkness, one of the 13 surviving vampires that survived the biblical deluge. There's out there who, if you traced your blood far back enough, might be one of your original fathers. Half the city believes the latter. They also believe that the moment father dearest wakes up from his slumber, he's going to be hungry. Real oh. hungry. And he'll sate that hunger by feasting on his children. That's, Wherever uh, we go, scary. it is the blood of Cain which makes our fate. Your fate and the fate of the Ankaran sarcophagus are inescapably intertwined. Will you open up the sarcophagus or seal it away for all eternity? That choice is up to you. Vampire mm. the Masquerade Bloodlines. A very unique, flawed, and fantastic diamond of a game. Terrible combat, 0 out of 10. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. Now oh. I'm just fucking with you. 10 out of 10. One of my favorite and one of the most replayable RPGs of all time. There's very few games out there that but keep pulling you back over and over again and still manage to make each playthrough different. Oh, wow. And this is one of them. Go that. buy it. Go play it. You won't regret it. Get sucked into the atmosphere. Yeah, you can probably get real cheap since it's a really old game. Get a craving addiction for it and replay it every few years for the rest of your natural life well, because there's nothing yeah, quite like later. it. A warm thanks to the many members of a Merchants Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all truly wonderful. You're going to get a visitor at your door next week. Mm. Don't open door! You Jehovah Witness! They're so annoying! <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes me laugh. Hey, I could use a Halloween looking SM gremlin like yourself to help haunt some people out of some loot for me. Ah, let's see what we got on good old King no. <laughs> oh, well, well, Are you just telling him no? I'm just straight up telling them no. I I feel insulted he even called me that. There. Call you a vampire. I've been like thinking him. about you. An S and M gremlin. Yeah, I want to lick you. Uh, all. Yeah, I have not at all any of those my way things. Down I hate your them. Creamy center and mm. what the? Yeah, get your hands off my Bavarian cream. What? You going to go to a fancy restaurant? You going to order snails? Okay. Don't eat them. That's disgusting. Snail very dirty. Okay. Bill's here. Gotta run. Great breakfast, honey. Have a good Snail day, dear. Dirty. I'm glad you liked the muffins. Hey! Oh, Don't I, eat I, them! I will already start Dr. this one. Snail very dirty. Bill's here. Gotta run. <laughs> Great breakfast, honey. Have a good day, dear. I'm glad you liked the muffins. Hey, what's that on the counter? That's mm. not my margarine. That's butter. It's... Bitch! <laughs> You know I'm supposed to watch my what? LDL levels. I, I thought it would be a nice change. You couldn't even tell. You don't want a divorce. <laughs> You're trying to kill me. I'm glad I slept with your sister. I thought it was margarine grade B butter. Well, the rancid taste of margarine with all the saturated fat of butter. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> ah, love will find you next week. Don't stay in love too long. Husband find you too. <laughs> Husband find you too. <laughs> to get what he means by that, right, Chrono? <laughs> Maybe. Mm. Uh, it basically means that you're sleeping with a married woman. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. <laughs> Does your penis always seem to be getting in the way? I got uh, the last uh, of the groceries, honey. Uh, I just need to close the trunk. One more nail and this birdhouse will be as good as new. <laughs> Yo! I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> this dressing room is for women only. You don't have to let this happen to you. Hi, what the hell? I'm Dr. Fred Tuck. 
Don't let your penis interfere with the quality of your life what anymore. What the hell? I have performed over 300 oh sex changes God. in my career, and not one of my patients has ever asked for their tackle box back. <laughs> what the Come hell? to Tuck Sex Exchange in the next month, and I'll give you a free estimate. Don't let your peace interfere with your peace of mind. Tuck Sex Exchange, located off Beverly what Drive. What the hell? Next time you Tuck get on plane, change seat to exit roll. This makes sure you not sit next to big fat ass. Oh camera my god. Nine, nothing, camera 80, <laughs> nothing, camera 81. Hey, 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 it's me. Hey there, Chunk. Doing a fine job. Keep up the good work, me. Last year, Democratic candidate Michael Redman bought a sports utility vehicle. What? Three months later, there were two separate incidences of hit and runs by an unidentified SUV in his area. What? Is Democratic candidate Michael Redman's to blame? Can you afford to take that chance? Can your children? What the fuck? Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate <laughs> that has never committed vehicular homicide. What? Democratic candidate Michael Rebens has never publicly stated his opinion on child pornography. What? Is it because he's hiding something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you child pornographer mm-hmm. voting on this nation's laws. Oh my God. Could you trust your children's future <laughs> to someone like that? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, the candidate that is committed to locking up child pornographers. What the hell? Democratic candidate Michael Rebens <laughs> recently sued Senator Robert Thorne for accusing <laughs> Rebens of being a murderous child pornographer. <laughs> But Rebens had previously said he was against clogging up courts with frivolous lawsuits. Wouldn't this make him a hypocrite? Would you want a hypocrite as your next congressman? No, it's because he keeps just making up shit about him, so he's now suing him. (laughs) He's using that as a fucking... Would you want your children to become (laughs) hypocrites? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate not accused of being a murderous child pornographer. Sorry, this is the only channel you get. Well then. (laughs) Good night, and have a pleasant evening. I just realized it's incredibly hot where I am. So, that was a hell of a thing. Uh, me and Fable will go through some stuff on Tuesday, but yes. I hope you guys like this video. Mm-hmm. I hope you guys like the stuff we do here. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. I don't know why I'm in the ceiling in this form, but yeah. There you guys.